CEO, Michael Marnie. Michael, thanks so much for your time. Just firstly, I wanted Absolute to find pleasure. out a bit more about what HGL actually does, because some of the brands that you have, uh, obviously viewers would be quite familiar with things like the French beauty products brand, Thalgo. Yes, I think to, to best sum up HGL, what we do is we buy branded goods from overseas factories, we ship them into Australia, and once we've got them here, we try to maximise sales. That is what we do. We try to bring in goods that are, of course, branded, goods over which we have pricing power, goods over which we can make sustainable and reasonable gross margins. And what we try to do is every day find other ways to increase our sales, find better ways to do what we do that little bit better. And some of those brands, uh, Thalgo, one of those, how's it fed? Um, Thal Thalgo is an interesting brand that, that certainly is doing very well. We're looking forward to it bringing in new packaging next year, which will certainly give it an even better boost. And we've taken the opportunity in the beauty, beauty care area of saying, hey, we're very good at, in spa and salon, but we can also sell into the retail market as well. So now we are selling brands into the retail markets. We're selling grown into the retail market. We're selling Vitaman into the retail market. And those are doing very well as well. Well, I suppose that's one of the things we do. When we are in a market, when we're in a business unit, we say, let's do what we can do better with the brands we've got in the channels that we're in. Let's see if we can take them into adjacent channels and let's see what other branded goods we can bring in as well that we have the skills to do a good job by. What was behind the big jump in net profit? There was a rise of some 67% and underlying profit was up about 36% as well. Yes, you are quite right. Underlying profit was up 36% and it was largely across the board. It was business unit by business unit was that little bit better. And I suppose in, our, in some of our larger business units, for example, Anatec, which sells large format printers and it sells the consumables that go with the printers and it services those printers, that had an incredibly good year. And the reason that had an incredibly good year was partially to a small extent because of the government stimulus package during the first three months of our year but far more so because we got consumables right we're so much better now at selling consumables we're so much better on focusing on all the disciplines all the processes that lead to those day-to-day -day sales being increased um, in in other in other business units we have SPOS which sells point of sale solutions to retailers to other brands and that has moved from a number of years ago being a seller of say commodity products to the majors to be a seller of solutions to the brands to the major rate retailers and generally adding value and I suppose that's what we do in all of our business units we aim to add value to the businesses that we sell to to the retailers that we sell to just looking at the strong Australian dollar as well, how much of an impact did that have on your business? That is one of those interesting questions. Um, it certainly helped us increase our gross margin percent, but of course it's not gross margin percent that pays the wages. What pays the wages are gross margin dollars. And with an increasing Australian dollar, that has a deflationary effect on our sales level. So net all in all, perhaps the A dollar may have been responsible for up to 20% of our lift in underlying earnings. But the main reason for our lift in underlying earnings, the 80% or so, that was through doing the basics better, through better sales management, through taking on the right products, doing all those little things that much better. And that's what we aim to do in the years ahead. We've been hearing some pretty grim commentary from some of the major retailers here. Jerry Harvey from Harvey Norman yesterday talking about the impact that uh, the popularity of online, uh, given that strong Aussie dollar, is having on his business and how it's, it's pretty tough for them to make a buck at the moment, given how cheaply they have to practically give away things like TVs and Katmandu today also echoing concerns of, of retail peers. What's your outlook? What have you been seeing in the first few months of this financial year? Um, if, if, if I can take that in a couple of limbs, if, 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 I may, if I may, we are certainly not giving away any products. We bring in products over which we have a fair degree of pricing power and that helps us to maintain a fairly consistent 
gross margin percent. Yes, it might go up the odd 2 or 3% or go down the odd 2 or 3%, but we're never in a position because of the products that we choose to bring in where we are giving them away. Um, Yes, like Mr. Harvey and like retailers, we feel the effect of some price deflation. But all that means is we have got to work that much harder to do what we do day to day better so as to increase our sales. That is our focus day in, day out. We've got 480 employees. We've got nearly 300 of them which are in the sales force. And it's encouraging, it's motivating, it's training those people. It's bringing other people in as well to assist those so that we can lift the sales. As far as the internet goes, yes, of course it's a challenge. It's not as much a challenge to us as it is, as it is to many others. For example, it's very difficult to buy a great big large format printer over the internet. Uh, it's very difficult to buy eye testing equipment over the internet and even if you could buy them over the internet you'd say hey I need the after sales service and we add so much value through the after sales service. That goes through to cosmetics as well. We provide training to the salons and the spas that we sell to. We help our customers make more money and through doing that they support our products. Michael, thank you so much for joining us today. We'll have to leave it there. Absolute pleasure. Thank you for your time. HGL CEO Michael Marnie there.